Okay, this is the first of uh, a series of videos I'll be doing on the CNC conversion for my Precision Matthews PM25MV. Um, let's see, we will start on the conversion with, uh, I'm using NEMA 34 motors instead of NEMA 23s like most other people are doing. And uh, those are all in and working beautifully. And I have great repeatability with the C7 ball screws. I uh, have this thing dialed into one ten thousandth of an inch. And it is repeating. I spent a lot of hours at that to do it. But it is working out really well. My uh, mist and coolant lines. Uh, solenoid valves right there at the lines. So uh, once they shut off, it's not going to be dripping a bunch of stuff like you see other people's coolant do. And then uh, power draw bar. And uh, this is the priest power draw bar, but I did change the switch on it from that cheap green one to a, a nice rocker switch with a blue LED. It's just a much cleaner look. All the cabling ran through a drag chain. I still got a lot of cosmetic to do. I still got to put a cover on for the Z-axis. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things going on this machine that this video is not going to cover. But uh, let's get down to the electronics of this thing. This is the board I built. And uh, running a Acorn control board from Centroid and then uh, for the signal isolator to run the spindle uh, KBSI 240D running the spindle and then of course I'm uh, using CNC 12 software from Centroid and something uh, I saw a video I think Marty's CNC garage had where a guy ran the small X keys. I think it's 12 key. I uh, I tend to overbuild things and overdo things. <laughs> That's just my nature. And so uh, I'm going with the 68 key. And so uh, I got to program the macros for that. I got the top row done. That's my all my F buttons. And then it's got a jog wheel and shuttle control, uh, which I need to get that figured out to get that working and uh you know it's it's portable and carry it over onto the machine because the machine's going to have a full enclosure in fact there's going to be a separate enclosure around all the electronics here uh with clear plexiglass doors on it so you can see all lit up pretty and stuff <laughs> but then uh yeah going to do a full enclosure on the mill uh, i'm going to uh build a tool changer for it there's just so many more things that I'm adding to this. So many things to be done. But um, I figured I'd share with you guys the build. I know I'm uh, deep into it before I put out this video. But it's, uh, it's definitely coming along nicely. I've got it, uh, I've got it down to one ten thousandth. That's <laughs> pretty darn accurate. Uh, we'll see how it does under a load. And of course, later down the road, I'll probably upgrade that spindle motor and such too. But we'll uh, we'll go with that for a while. There's other other things to be done. And when I'm done with this mill, I've got a lathe build that I'm doing. But anyway, first installment of the PM25 MV upgrade, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.